Welcome to the channel today. We're going to be doing a simple tutorial on how to set up profiles and scene collections inside of OBS. And we're going to talk about the difference between the two of those things. Anyway, let's jump into this video and let's get into setting up profiles and scene collections inside of OBS. So here we are inside of OBS. And as you can see here, we pretty much have a blank scene, blank canvas. This is a second instance of OBS that I have open on my computer. If you notice across the top right here, we have profiles and scene collection. Profiles actually store a specific set of settings per individual thing. So CG, CG brand is my stream profile. We have recording profile, which restores an additional set of settings. But right now we're sitting on new profile. So let's go ahead and create a additional new profile. All right, we're going to use new. Let's just go ahead and call this new two. And then it's going to go through the setup process of how to set up this particular profile. In this case right here, we're just going to optimize this one for recording. You can choose one for optimizing for streaming and recording before simplicity. We're just going to do that. And we're going to choose canvas size and click next, apply our settings. And now we have a brand new profile. So anything we change in here, any instance we add, any docs we add will all be specifically saved to this profile only. So just to give you an example of what profile is, let's go to profile and we're going to choose the CG brand. So if you notice it loads up and everything that I have saved to that particular profile is going to be there. All of our docs, all of our settings down here at the bottom, everything. But if you notice as well, there are no additional scenes. So it's only going to be using the scene collection that I have from that particular scene collection. So if we go over to scene collection, I'm going to choose CG brand as well. You'll notice a whole different set of scenes. It's got my starting soon scene, my main game, full camera sources. All of that is contained inside of the scene collection only. So when I first got into using the OBS, I really didn't understand the difference between profiles and scene collection. Profiles only stores information that you change in here. So settings, output, so any of this information that is in the profile, for example, what your video bit rate is, audio, recording, because I wanted to create a separate recording profile that way I could switch to it because I accidentally went live one day while I was trying to record a video. So any information that's in this profile is going to be transferred. So even if you switch to scene collection, everything that is in the profile will still carry over into that scene collection. So let me show you, for example, what I'm talking about. So let's go from here. Let's just go to Halloween two for scene collection. Now we're going to go in settings. Yeah, if you know, audio output is still the same. Stream information is still the same. And our video settings are still the same right here as well. However, if I go to profile and go to recording, you'll notice all those docs disappeared. Everything disappeared on the screen. And now if we go into settings, video output, our output scale resolution is 1080. Our video bit rate is changed and everything is different inside of here. So whatever is set up inside of the profile that is going to be changed over and not the actual scenes. So what happened was when I was in the process of setting up my recording profile, I deleted a bunch of different scenes that I wasn't going to be using inside of the recording profile. However, in doing so, I deleted them from my entire collection. So what we need to do whenever we're creating a new profile is we want to create a new scene collection as well. So let's go back to our new profile and we're going to go new. So this is going to create as a new blank scene collection. So let's just go scene two. So anything we do inside of this specific scene collection is going to stay in this scene collection. So only, okay. So let's say we want to create a new scene inside of this scene collection. And in this case right here, I'm just going to use a game. So let's go to window capture because I'm only on one monitor. I have to use window capture. So let's go to window capture. Let's go create new and we're going to choose our window. I'm going to call the Y and in this case right here, I'm actually going to have to switch. That way it will actually capture the window. So let's click OK. So there is our new window capture, our new game that we are using inside of OBS. So 
So I'm going to lock that one so I don't actually drag it around. So now we have this new source inside of this scene collection. So let's just go here. Let's go to scene collection and let's just go to recording. And as you see right here, none of that transferred over because it is specific to that specific scene collection. So let's go back to scene collection and we're going to go to scene two. Oops. And there's our game once again. So by switching through the different scene collections, it stores our scenes and our sources that are associated with this specific scene collection. So now that we've set up this specific scene inside of the scene collection, let's just say we want to switch profiles to a different profile. Say for example, that we wanted to stream our gameplay or we wanted to record our gameplay and not stream it. So I, the profiles I've already created. So let's go to profile and go to recording and it will actually switch up the profile settings that are associated with my recording profile. So again, it would be 1080p, 60 FPS, because I want to record this information. Well, let's just say to put it on YouTube or something like that. And it records all that information inside of there. Our audio settings, all that is saved and transferred. However, there is no changes that are going to be made to the scene collection because the scene collection is specific to that specific scene and not to the actual profile. So let's go, let's just switch scenes again. Let's go to a different scene that I have created. So let's go to CG brand. And as you notice right here, none of the stuff from the new scene that we created is inside of the CG brand collection. And that is because that specific setup is for that scene only. Okay. So now let's go back to our new profile. Let's go to new profile change scene collection back to our new scene as well. And now that we're back on our new scene and our new profile, this is a new scene we've created. This is a new profile we created and these settings will be specific to each profile and each scene collection. I wish when I switched over to OBS, I would have read up on how to do this and not accidentally deleted everything inside of the scene collection. But now this is just a simple way that you can transfer scenes, transfer profiles for different things you want to be doing. For example, we're streaming on YouTube or streaming on Twitch or whatever streaming platform you want to do. You can have specific profiles with things set up for that. And then you have those specific scenes that can be associated for each collection. For in this case right here, since it's close to Halloween, I have a specific scene collection that is set up for Halloween. So let's just go scene collection. And we're going to go to Halloween and that changes everything. We've got our little bats on the screen. We've got our little jar. We've got spider webs for our Halloween. And in my normal scene collection, whenever it's not Halloween or specific holiday, it's for my CG brand, which is uh, just a basic overall layout for the stream. And there we go. That is how we create a new profile and a new scene and what the differences is between the two. Profile store your information through settings. Our scene collection stores the different scenes. Whenever we switch profiles, it does not change the scene. It only changes the information in regards to the settings that we have set up for that specific profile. If we change scene collection, however, it changes everything inside of that world. We have a starting soon screen, a main game, full game in my case, but whatever it is, I wish I, like I said, I wish I would have read up on this before. I started messing around creating profiles and scene collections, but this is a simple tutorial. Hope you enjoyed the video. Look forward to seeing you in the next one. And until next time, much love, peace out, and we'll see you soon.